So, Aaron challenged me to try and find the cheapest food with the most ingredients in the grocery store. And I came across this ham and cheese stuffed breadsticks with cheesy bacon dipping sauce banquet meal for 48 cents. So you're dipping ham into bacon, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I was going just to buy sheer numbers of ingredients for the lowest possible price, I mean, I know there's a little bit more in here, but this is only 48 cents. That would be a great value. And I get 172 ingredients. Thank you, ConAgra. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but the ingredients list takes up two columns here. It doesn't beat the Hungry Man, which had 196 plus ingredients, but it does come pretty close at 172 ingredients. It and does win if you count ingredients per calorie. You got a lot of stuff going on in here. There's multiple different kinds of sodium, aluminum, phosphate. Aluminum's mentioned on here several times, actually. There's sodium erythrobate. What is sodium erythrobate? Apparently, it's a chemical variation of ascorbic acid that's used as a food preservative due to its antioxidant effects and has no nutritive value on its own. It's used as a substitute or alternative in preserved processed meats and poultry, preventing color change, maintaining flavor, reducing the formation of nitrosamines, which are the compounds found to cause cancer. If they're putting that in there to stop the formation of nitrosamines, it means they're trying to stop their food from forming a compound that's known in studies to cause cancer. That's what that is. It's the nitrates they've added to this meal. Sodium erythrobate is considered safe. However, some people may be sensitive and develop side effects. What are those side effects? Well, apparently those side effects are headaches, body flushing, generalized fatigue and malaise, dizziness, lightheadedness, and hemolysis, a condition where red blood cells rupture, leading to anemia and other complications. Mmm, yummy. Apparently it also has gastrointestinal side effects, which are nausea, vomiting, heartburn, gastritis, abdominal cramping, and diarrhea. Apparently it also has renal side effects. In high doses, if you eat too much of it or builds up in your bloodstream, it can build up acids that lead to the formation of kidney stones and the symptoms associated with those, which include feeling like you're in hell. There's all kinds of just things you can't pronounce very well. Uh, yellow five and six is in here. I mean, I don't know. You just It'd probably be quicker for me to just tell you what's not in here. I'm going to go with anything organic, pretty much, is going to be my guess. And, uh... This is what it looks like when you cook it. We don't actually own a microwave. So this is what happened. And we just ripped it apart to see what the inside looked like. You get these stick things with the chunky stuff inside of it. And then you get like this congealed gun <laughs> gungy stuff. It's this is really actually pretty nasty. It smells a lot like paper mache and burnt cheese meat chunks or something. We're going to have to freshen the kitchen. I don't know. It's sti- <laughs> It's really gross. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's actually pretty gross. There is a time in my life I would have eaten this. There's something actually on this ingredients that I wanted to ask you guys about. It's Let me see if I can even find it. Oh yeah, there's dough conditioners, L-cysteine, so that's good, that's uh, hair, go look that up. Uh, mozzarella cheese type flavor. Mozzarella cheese type flavor. That reminds me a lot of The Matrix, right? Where they were asking the questions about what the food tastes like and how did they know certain foods tasted like certain things to program your brain. Mozzarella cheese type flavor, what is that? What do you think that that's is? That's a food scientist victory. It's a <laughs> that was made in a factory by the New Jersey Turnpike. There are so many different types of GMO soy and canola and corn in here. It's ridiculous. Oh, hey, um, our Hungry Man's ready. Do you want to see oh, what that Oh, he looks cooked like? the Hungry Man. There's Let's see what that looks like. Look. I don't, I don't know if I'm ready for this. 
Ew, it's all bubbling. And the, some of the brownie got into the main course over there. <laughs> is that what that is? There's no BPA in this meal. I can be assured of that. I don't know why they have you cook a plastic tray in the oven, but... Yeah, that's the other thing. These come on these plastic trays. Like, you're just baking the BPA, what, right into your food? That gravy that has so many ingredients is really bubbling. Kind of got a brownie vegetable thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let, me just, <laughs> ew. Let me just point out the fact that the brownie in this Hungry Man meal did not have any high fructose corn syrup. But the gravy did. That gravy had more ingredients than anything else on this plastic tray. By far. By far. But this was 48 cents. There are people starving, but I still wouldn't wish this upon them. I just wouldn't. Ugh. Look, it's a person!